I recently put out a short cinematic film on YouTube Shorts and TikTok and love this shot from it. So, if you want to learn how I took this shot from straight out of camera to Rec. 709 to the final grade, let me show you in under 2 minutes. I used DaVinci Resolve as my program of choice and 8 nodes for this clip. In the second node, I apply the Tungsten Phantom LUT that I love using on my s 3 footage. I then go back to the first node to make my primary adjustments. This is where I mess with the gamma first, then lift and gain. I add a bit of contrast and move the pivot over to open it up. I recover some of the highlights and lift the shadows just a bit. I warm up the shot and add magenta tint to where I like it and decide to lower the mid detail a bit. I then move on to the third node to create a film curve. Starting with the default anchors, I shift the points to where I'm happy with it. In the fourth node, I adjust the hue versus hue, saturation, and luminance to these values to adjust the color before getting into the grading and final touches. Moving along in the fifth node, this is where I color grade. I go to the lift to add teal by decreasing the reds. In the gamma, I add warmer colors and the gain is slightly pushed into the purples to add a bit of color into the sky. I switch into the log wheels, decrease the greens a bit to make sure the blacks are black and not greenish teal. And I add more warmth into the midtones. I also decide to add a bit more magenta tint here. Node 6, in the custom curves I enabled editable spleens to push the image more in the brighter and darker parts of the image. In the 7th node, I add Dehancer to put on some extra touches starting with a film profile pulling Kodak 500T. I adjust the print to bring the contrast back and fine tune the black and white points in the expand. And then I finally add grain, halation, and bloom to the image. In the 8th and final node, I added glow from Resolve's effects lowered the global blend, changed the composite type to soft light, and made these additional adjustments. And that's everything that went into this grade. For more tips and an in-depth tutorial on how I color grade, I have two videos on my YouTube channel you can check out.